Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here, bringing you a completely different episode of Football Manager 2015. Today, I'll be playing uh, with the downloaded database, World Premier League, where all the teams in the world have been sorted into divisions based off the in-game reputation. Uh, I've only loaded the top three or four leagues, um, but yeah, as you can see, they're all based off reputation. And uh, I just clicked pick random team for me, and I got Paris Saint Germain. Um, very strong team, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, here they are. I'm a lot of money, obviously, because they want me to sign high-profile players. I mean, here, look, in terms of yeah, look, 47 million. A um, lot of money in the bank for me to spend. Uh, if you look at the team, um, well, yeah, decent enough for goalkeeper. Uh, not much in terms of long-term for right-back, because obvio has gone, although maybe I'll try and sign him at the end of the season. Uh, or get a better one. Left back again, like in the long term sorted right now, not the best. Very strong in centre back, um although may want to cover. Um very strong midfield and strikers. Um it's it's a very strong team and I won't probably need that many signings. Um looking at it Um I don't have that many wingers and all the wingers can play striker or AMC, so I may in tactics uh, set formation here. Yeah, I think this is the tactic I'll be going for. For now, I've just there you go. That's the sort of tactic I'm looking at. What I'm gonna do? So I'm rushing this, but I'm gonna go ahead, uh, play the World Cup, World League Cup first round, uh, and go to the Man U game, and show you any transfers then, and play that game live. So see you guys in a second. So, I'm back after doing the pre-season, and here's my transfers. As I said previously, I have a lot of money. However, I didn't really look at the wage budget, and I had no wage budget, which I didn't figure out until after I'd done these transfers. And then I remembered financial fair play rules. Oh, how had I forgotten them? So stupid. But yeah, anyway. Uh, I decided to keep the one for one deal going. <laughs> nah, I got rid of these straight away. But yeah, it's a one for one deal. I'll just pretend like I knew what I was doing. Um, and I signed Belanta and Lucas Romero. Because when I took over, I looked at the squad. So let's, let's see the squad. And I saw, okay, it's a very strong squad. However, the positions that are weak is there's not much depth in centre back. And I know you're thinking, but there's loads. As you can see, free centre back formation thought it'd be good for Paris Saint Germain. Um left back there isn't a good left back so to say there's no world class left back there's no world class right back either. But the the full back was basically not the best of positions. And midfield. So yeah, so I signed you know, the obvious ones. Everybody's heard of these guys. Everybody's bought these guys. They're the best in the business. Uh one point five million and twenty five million great players and the future of the club and I got rid of two nobodies. Um pre season went alright. Uh here. Well it didn't. I lost nearly all my games. Uh but I beat Penroll, the only game that I actually um paid attention to, three nil. Uh testing out one of my formations, as you can see only two centre backs. Um and I'll show you my tactics now. So yeah. Here's so I made three tactics. Here's the first one. Uh, narrow diamond, like you know, like I don't know what's happening to my voice. Bit like um, Liverpool of last season or something. Something like that. Um, good enough tactic, you know. I hope. Uh, I did some testing with it. Looks okay. No defensive midfielder might be an issue. I mean, he's a ball winning midfielder support, so he'll be, you know, not really sitting deep. Uh, but I have got three guys who will stay back quite a lot. Um, up front, Cavani further back, Ibrahimovic further forward, although I think he might do better as a Dracotista. Uh, just reading it, sorry. <laughs> yeah, well. Uh, yeah, well, I'll keep it like this for now, see if I change it. Um, the third tactic I made was a. Uh, this is, if I'm losing, I put this on to try and score a goal. You know, Ingrid's attack to uh, secondary strikers, basically three strikers, 
three mids with one being really attacking, two sitting deeper. Basically a very attacking formation. And uh five five three two basically. Um don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Pretty obvious what this tactic is. Um yeah, I, I don't think I need to explain that one. That's what I'll be going for for this game, by the way. Um, I'm sure you can see the goalkeeper. Never heard of him before. I don't blame you. We've had a bit of an injury crisis. These guys still injured. Surugu, another, what, two weeks? Um, oh, yeah, week and a half. Uh, Shantom has been injured for some time. Rabio, Maxwell, Marquinhos. Also, just returned from injury is... Actually, I can see it better on this screen. He's just returned from injury. I had to play Mike Maigan then for the cup game because he was the only fit goalkeeper I had. Uh, Touche was just returned to like yesterday. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I had an injury, but he recovered a few days ago, so he was fine. Um, Kamara had an injury. Marquinhos is still injured. Uh, Kabai has just returned from an injury. Shan Tom's got an injury, uh, but he he played in the last game. Luckily. I still had him then. Uh, Rabiot's been injured pretty much the entire time. Uh, Pastor really has yep, just returned from an injury. So yeah, I've had a very weakened squad. Um, oh yeah, and Lucas Moura has had an injury over pre-season. That's the only reason I bought Romero was because Kabai had an injury and I needed cover immediately. Uh, although he did recover a lot faster than initial predictions, like two or three weeks faster. But yeah. Um, this is the team I've gone with. Strong apart from goalkeeper, pretty much. Din Digny, I've decided to stick with him. Uh, I'm going to trust him. And, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> play, you know, these two, nowhere near as good as, you know, as Man U up against here. But, yeah, um, this is the team I've gone against, and I guess I'll get on with the game. But, um, it's team selection. Yeah. This tactic I've gone for, of course, and yeah, let's see how I do. Uh, submit team, yes. Do 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 do. We've got a very difficult to start the season. We've got this game, and then in like four days' time, we've got Chelsea. Then three days after that, we've got Porto here, current leaders. Uh, who'd they beat? Tottenham, I guess. Um, but yeah, continue. Uh, Hopefully, you know, compact at the back. I don't know if this works. Never played it in FM15. Never played a 5-3-2 before. Um, so, let's see if it works. Belanta is my central centre-back. Not a good idea, maybe. <laughs> Might want to put somebody more reliable, like Thiago Silva, with Luis and Belanta either side. Might be cleverer. Wow. What a goal. That that was that was that had Zlatan written all over him. Zlatan. What should I call him? Should I give him a nickname? That'd be cool. Why is he here as V Zlatan? The word in the dictionary named after him for crying out loud. Let's see if this works. And let's change that to attacking. Um, much higher. Um, exploit the middle? Nah. Pump 
pull into box. Okay. Confirm changes. Yes. See if this works. Changing the tactic a bit. But yeah, they're gonna win now. This is ridiculous. What what just happened? <sighs> um well, we just let in a soft go. Overload. Instructions. Take more risks, be more expressive. Uh, go route one. Okay. Well then, Slatten. Team talk. Passionate. Push forward. Oops, skip. Team talk. Passionate. Push forward. Well then, Slatten. Good go. All we need is a hat trick. Well then. Levetsi's through forward oh Slatten well recovered. Din Digny Dingy what what on earth should I call it? Dingy? Dingy's cool. Go for Dingy. Well then see it. What? And that wasn't a foul. And that was a foul. What? Tiago Silva didn't foul the guy, but then what? Oh well, I don't get this game anymore. Go on Slatten, show him how it's done. Show him how it's done. Oh Zlatan. We all know Zlatan doesn't lose the ball. This game's unrealistic. Well done, Matuidi. Although he didn't really do anything. Zlatan forward. Oh, come on. We all know Zlatan does killer passes, not rubbish passes. What is Douche doing? Douche could have saved that easily. Okay. Screw this. This is ridiculous. I don't, e I don't even understand. Like, yeah. Go on, David Luiz in again, Ferrati, Mot oh, Ibrahimovic, yes, Lovetsi, what a goal, we can still get a draw here, we can still get a draw here, we can do this, we can do this, come on guys, Kabai, oh, nearly, go on, Costin, go on, oh, Fletcher, Fletcher's out of the game, all of them have actually, go on, Zlatan, well done, Kamara. Kamara. Oh, Van der Veel. You should have got there before. Why is this all closed? They've had a really good game. And they do deserve to win, to be honest. Although two penalties is ridiculous. That's actually stupid. Okay. Go, 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 go. Penalty. No. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was a penalty then. Ah, uh, well, we lost. Unfortunate but true. We have to understand the reality of the situation. We weren't the better team, even though two penalties, you know. Really should have you know should have been winning this game. Um but uh, luck was not luck. Uh, yeah, when you do that, that's just ridiculous. Well, Slatan's a good player, that's all I can say from this. Nope, aggressive. I'm far from pleased. Continue. <laughs> we we did all right. I mean, we lost two penalties. Oh, two penalties, and apparently one was controversial. <sighs> ah well, it's a pity. Um, Alonso, what a player? Yeah, I do. Uh, pen not say anything. Yep, okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I did see some positives. Um, we'll recover. Magnificent strike. It really was. That was a beauty. Well, I will um, see you guys. Well, so let's have a look at the schedule. I don't know how long this video has been. Actually, it's been a bit too long. Um, Let's have a look. Oh, we got drawn. Look at this group. Atletico, Bayern. Atletico and Bayern and PSG. That is ridiculous. I mean, look at the other groups. Okay, Barca, couldn't you feel SLP? But that's nowhere near the same. None of them are even... Oh, okay, this one's pretty class. Chelsea, Everton, Manu, Napoli. That was a really difficult group. And this one. So, three rock-solid groups. But yeah, we got one of them, unfortunately. Um next game I will 
see you guys next game. Uh, I, I keep saying next game. Do 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 do. Buy another best team, aren't they? Uh, tell you what. I'll just. I'll make this, you know, two episodes a season sort of thing. So I'll go to the end of the season, or uh, if we have a cup final somewhere here-ish, I'll see you guys then. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, goodbye.